What is going on, Pats Nation? Patriots Global here, back with another video. Again, like I said in my last video, happy game day to everybody. Happy week one. Super, super hyped that the New England Patriots are back in football. And just that football is back in general. You know, from now on, this means that a lot more news is going to be happening. We're going to be talking about game matchups. I'm going to have fellow creators for each of the Patriots game matchups, at least as much as I can get, to have those professional guys come on and talk about their respective teams. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because you are going to be getting some really, really great and in-depth breakdowns for these games uh, for the upcoming season. But if you haven't seen my latest video, the one before this one, I highly recommend you go check it out before watching this video, just because they kind of go hand in hand. So I'll give you guys just a quick second to go ahead and go to that video if you haven't already. Now, those of you who are still here, you already saw that video. So you know that Gunnar Olszewski was placed on the New England Patriots injured reserve. That did free up one roster spot, but of course, the New England Patriots did need to also promote a kicker. They decided to kind of go two different ways by promoting defensive tackle Xavier Williams from the practice squad and also promoting uh, kicker Nick Folk from the practice squad. So before we get more in depth for each of those guys, straight off the bat, my thoughts on each of them. Nick Folk, to me, it's kind of like, you know, why was he even on the practice squad? Why didn't he just go straight to the 53-man roster? We all kind of figured that he was going to be the starting kicker for the Pats. They hadn't really brought anybody else in, so not really sure what the move was there. But, you know, okay, either way, he is the kicker for the New England Patriots, at least for this week. Um... Again, I think this is all kind of what we predicted. Uh, as for Xavier Williams, I do like the move, especially with Bo Allen being out of the question mark. Xavier Williams is a guy that I liked. Now, he's not someone who is extremely spectacular, has never put up anything crazy statistically, but he is somebody that I do like the addition of. Now, speaking of Xavier Williams, let's hop right into him. Now, defensive tackle originally came into the NFL in 2015 with the Arizona Cardinals. He went from 2015 to 2017 with them and then spent 2018 and 2019 with the Kansas City Chiefs. Like I mentioned to you guys earlier, he's not somebody that has ever put up crazy statistics. You're not going to get eight sacks out of him, anything like that. He isn't a huge body, but he definitely is a big body. Uh, but he's someone that honestly... I like more than Bo Allen just because he's been more productive and a little bit more successful than Bo Allen has been throughout his career. It's not a big hop between the two, but he definitely has been a little bit more uh, successful statistically. In his entire career, he's recorded about three sacks. He's recorded a combined 83 tackles. Um, he's had four tackles for a loss and six quarterback hits. So again, statistically, nothing crazy, but they are better than Bo Allen. Six foot two, 309 pounds, kind of someone I expect to be more of that nose tackle, really take over for a Danny Shelton type of role, be paired up with a guy like Lawrence Guy. These will be the two guys I expect mostly to really help and stuff and be big bodies up front within the Patriots interior of their defensive line. I already had concerns about that this offseason. We signed Bo Allen, wasn't overly confident. He got placed on the injured reserve. Then I got even more, uh, you know, confused and upset and worried. Um, and then they added Xavier Williams. So it does help out a little bit with Bo Allen being placed on the injured reserve and currently not playing for New England. Also, one statistic that I did forget to record is the fact that he has also played or has also had three forced fumbles and played 44 games. Now, does this move solve all of the New England Patriots' run game issues and stopping the run game? No, but it is an improvement. It does help the Patriots out, and it does add depth at a position of need. So ultimately for me, I do like the addition of Xavier Williams. As for Nick Folk, he's a guy that, again, I think we all expected him to be the kicker for the New England Patriots, so I'm not too sure why they released him, put him on the practice squad, and then the day before promoted him to the 53-man roster. We all knew that uh, rookie kicker Justin Rowasser was not going to get the starting job with all the issues he had this offseason. It was either the Patriots promote Folk, or they go and they add a kicker for the agency-wise. Ultimately, because Folk is a veteran in the NFL, because he has experience in the Patriots system already, 
I kind of just figured that's the ultimate Bill Belichick move. Nick Folk is going to be our kicker. But I think it is really interesting that they did decide to release him. They did decide to put him on the practice squad rather than promoting him. And it took them the day before, not even 24 hours, less than 24 hours before to promote him, which definitely does say something. I don't think they're overly confident in him. A guy that has played for a plethora of teams, the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Jets, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, also played with the Arizona Hotshot uh, when he was with, I believe, the AAF. Now, he was pretty consistent with the New England Patriots. Now, he didn't play a full season. The New England Patriots had multiple kickers coming in and out, but he did go 14 of 17 on field goals and 12 of 12 on extra points for New England last season. So really, on that not all that bad but they also weren't in a position where when they got to the 50 yard line or whatever they'd be like hey you know Nick Nick Folk go ahead and, and, and try that out they just didn't have too much confidence in him within that long range I'll be curious to see if they have that in him for this upcoming season He also did have to get surgery this offseason, so I wonder if that also played a factor in, you know, how he was feeling and how he was being utilized during his time with New England in 2019. You know, how was he going to perform and be utilized after that surgery? 35 years old, so obviously he is up there in age, but early on in his career, he was extremely productive. I mean, when he was with the Dallas Cowboys, he was able to go to a Pro Bowl for being a kicker. You know, he was a very successful guy. I think that if way back when he had been released, he was the top guy to be picked up as a kicker. If the New England Patriots can get him back to any, even the little slightest of a bit, to that Pro Bowl caliber kicker, then they are in good terms. Ultimately, we'll just have to see how this goes, though, and how this pans out. It wouldn't shock me, though, if, you know, they only try to get to the 40-yard line, and that's where they're comfortable with him kicking nothing beyond, which could be a situation where, look, you're at a position where it's fourth and five, it's fourth and three, and you're at the 50-yard line, and you have to make a decision where, okay, are you going to go for it? Or are you going to punt the ball? Because I just don't know if they have the faith in Nick Folk to kick and try that kick from the 50-yard line. And again, if let's say you're down by three or you're you're down by 10, you're down by seven, and you have a few seconds to do one last play before the first half ends, you know, what do you do? But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the additions of bringing up kicker Nick Folk and defensive tackle Xavier Williams from the practice squad? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.